Hi, I'm Bobby, and the, in this video I'm going to be talking about my goals for 2020 and the books that I want to finish before the end of the year. My first goal for this year was to read 50 books. As of the beginning of August, I have read 27 books, so I'm sort of on track, but I could do with reading a few extra. I've had this same goal for the past three years. I was hoping to read more books this year, but I don't think it's going to happen. I had initially wanted to read 100 books this year, but I then realised that would mean having to read two books each week, and I'm not that fast at reading. My second goal was to read one non-fiction book each month. I haven't read any non-fiction books yet this year, and I don't expect to read 12 in the next five months, so that's going to be a failed goal but perhaps now I can maybe read a few before the end. My third goal was to read one graphic novel each month. So far I have read four graphic novels and one manga. I'm quite new to reading manga, so this is sort of different for me. But I still think I should count it as a graphic novel because they're kind of the same thing. I am in the process of reading more graphic novels, I already own a few graphic novels and I'm borrowing some as well, so hopefully I should get through those pretty quickly. They don't take very long to read, so I should catch up on that goal. My fourth goal is to read six classics this year. So far the only one I've read is The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. To be honest, I find classics quite difficult to read, so I might read one or two before the end of the year but I don't think I'll catch up on this goal. My fifth goal for this year is to read one tome or a book over 500 pages each month. So far I have read about three, maybe four, um, tomes this year. Being longer books they do tend to take a lot of time to read. I'm not a particularly fast reader so they tend to take me a couple of weeks, maybe a month, so in that respect they are quite intimidating for me. I might be able to catch up on this goal, but I don't really expect to. My next goal is to read no more than one reread each month. So far I've only reread one, and that was the fifth Harry Potter book. There are quite a few books I want to reread at the moment, but I haven't really read any yet this year. I really want to focus on reading new books, so I am sticking to this goal at the moment. The seventh goal is to complete the His Dark Materials series by Philip Pullman. I read the first book in this series a couple of years ago, but I haven't completed the series yet. I haven't kept to this goal. I am considering reading the other two books later this year. I might be able to complete this goal. Both of the books are very long, so they shouldn't take me too long to read. However, I do find the prose quite dense. Um, they are quite difficult to read, so it is a little intimidating in that respect. Goal number eight is to catch up on reading Rick Riordan series. I have completed the Percy Jackson series, the Heroes of Olympus series, and I've read the first two books in both the Trials of Apollo and Magnus Chase. So I read the second Trials of Apollo book this year, but since then I have decided that I don't particularly want to read any more of Rick Riordan's books. They're not really aimed at my age group and I'm sort of losing interest in them. I always found those books quite slow to read and that was always off-putting for me. Even the books aimed for younger children were quite slow and I think that I'm just ready to move on now. I then wanted to read one ebook per month. So far I have read about three ebooks and I'm in the middle of another one at the moment. Whilst this isn't really sticking to the goal, I am reading a lot more ebooks than I had previously. It's been a while since I've really looked at using my Kindle, but since the whole pandemic situation I've decided I don't really want to take my physical books outside at the moment. And then my final goal was to listen to one audiobook each month. So far this year I have listened to maybe three or four audiobooks. And again, this is more than I have listened to previously, but I 
I haven't quite kept to the goal. The next part of my 2020 goals is a list of 12 books that I wanted to read this year. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about these books. So the first book on this list is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I haven't read this book yet and it's quite big and intimidating so I think I've been putting it off. I've had this book since it came out around 2018 and honestly I've just been a little bit too scared to read it. It is 800 pages and so far I've managed to read about 25 pages. So I don't know a lot about this book. I know it's about dragons and it's set in a world that is divided by east and west where one side likes the dragons and one side doesn't. I feel like I need to force myself to read this soon before I put it off for too much longer. I don't want to put off this book too long because then it'll just become more intimidating for me. So it is on my TBR for this month but I don't know if I'm going to get to it. The second book on this list is The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. This is the second book in the Mistborn trilogy. This was the first book I completed this year, although I did start it back in December, so might be true. So this series follows a girl called Vin, who has alimantic powers, which means that she can ingest metals and each metal gives her specific powers. Basically, in the first book, she is discovered by a band of thieves who take her on board and use her to help them defeat the Lord Ruler, who is basically the most evil person in the Empire. And he's got the throne and they want to defeat him so that they can have freedom for all their people. So, like I said, I did complete this book right at the beginning of the year. I am currently in the middle of reading the third book in the series, which is The Hero of Ages. Personally, I think the first book, The Final Empire, was my favourite book so far. The third book's really good, like, I'm really enjoying it. I honestly don't remember much about the second book, but I think I enjoyed it at the time, so... I don't know. It's all just sort of got to the point of just being wars and sieges and it's a bit it's a bit chaos at the moment. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I like the characters, I like the magic system. It's really fun and really interesting. So hopefully I'll complete the third book soon. I'm considering reading the spin-off series, but I'm not too sure. Maybe I just need a little break before I go on to the spin-off series. So the next book on my list is another book that I've already completed, and that is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Elia Sands. This is a young adult contemporary novel about two boys who meet one summer and become friends. There is an element of LGBT romance in this story. It is also about friendship and it's sort of a coming of age story and finding yourself. I quite enjoyed this book, but I'd heard a lot of hype, and I'm not sure it necessarily lived up to the hype. But it was a good read, I enjoyed it. It's sort of gentle, it does have elements of being quite emotional, but it is, like, it's young adult contemporary, I find it quite, like, not really taxing, you know? The fourth book on my list is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. This is a young adult fantasy about a girl who's got powers or a girl whose people used to have powers and had it taken away from them and now she's going on a quest to try and recover the power again. I don't know a lot about this series. I know the second one came out last year I think but I don't know a lot of detail about it. I've had this book for a couple of years now and that again is sort of intimidating me and putting me off reading it because I've had it for so long. Which is kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is. I want to read this book quite soon, but I'm not really sure when. I should really look into the books I've prioritised for the year and have another go at reading each of them. The next book on my list is another one that I've had for quite a long time, and that is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco. 
this is a, I guess, detective mystery novel about a lady who tries to find Jack the Ripper, surprisingly. So I learned about Jack the Ripper um, in history class when I was 15 and I've been really interested in Jack the Ripper, like the whole concept of it really intrigued me. So I'm hoping this will be like really focused on the history of it because like it <laughs> because like I said I really enjoyed learning that stuff and I want to revisit that. I don't really know a lot of detail about the story but I have had it for a long time and I'm putting it off a little bit. So then book number six on my list is a class which is Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. So I do know the story of this. I've seen the movie but I've never read it. So the next book on my list is The Martian by Andy Weir. This book was really popular in 2014. It had a movie out about it. I haven't seen the movie, I haven't read the book. But it's about um, an astronaut who goes to Mars and then his crew leave him behind. Um, I'm not sure if it's like an accident or if they lose him or I don't know. But he gets stranded on Mars by himself and this is basically his diary of like what he experiences. It's supposed to be a really funny read, but yeah, it's sci-fi, it's not a genre I read very often, so I really want to get to this one because it's supposed to be really good and I've had it about six years, so I need to stop putting it off. That's the moral of this video, is I need to stop putting off the books I've had a long time. And then the final book on my list is another one I've had since about 2013, 2014, and that is Horns by Joe Hill. Now. I first bought this book because I saw posters for the movie, which has Danny Radcliffe in it. I don't know a lot about this book. It's, I assume, horror. I think it's about a man who's possessed by the devil, or punished by the devil, and he's got horns. Um, but I don't really know a lot about it. Um, again, I want to go into the story not really knowing much, because I think that sort of adds to the story. Oh, yeah, I think it'll make it a bit more interesting and more of a surprise. But it should be a good book. I just don't tend to read like horror or thriller books very often, so that is a little intimidating. But I'm quite excited for reading the story. I've got friends who say it's a good book, so I'm determined to read this book very soon. So those are my goals for the end of this year. I haven't really done much work on them so far this year, um, but I really think that I can get through quite a lot of these goals by December. I know that only gives me five months to read them, but I think if I put my mind to it, I should be able to get to them. In any case, these are the goals that I want to get to before the end of 2020, and I really want to try my best to at least get through those priority books if I can't get through all the other goals. So hopefully you'll see me getting through quite a lot of those books very soon. So thank you for watching this video. I'd like you to maybe subscribe, like. I've got Instagram, which I don't use very often, but I'm going to try to post more on there. Um, I've got Goodreads, and I'll link those both down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!